we both uh, decided to torpedo her and she went down in, in 10 minutes. And he was one of the lucky survivors that he uh, ended up like uh, swimming in the sea for a little bit until a life raft came along and he swam to it. And, uh, but the men kept on beating him at oars to get him away from the, from the, sh from the life raft. But luckily for him, a woman held out her hand and grabbed his arm, saving his life. Uh, luckily for me and my mother. And, uh, and so he got back on, on shore, he had a big gash in his forehead, and he went to the infirmary in Cork or around there somewhere. And, and then three months later, he decided to uh, go back home, walk back home. And uh, they didn't know that he had survived. In fact, they had buried him. And, uh, <laughs> And so it was a little, rather a shock to him that he, to find out that he was dead. So, and, uh, but apparently the only thing that it was mentioned of this for over 30 years, that the only thing he ever said was, Asher, I wasn't meant to go to America. So, so I decided to go. Nothing unfortunate happened like that to me. Sinking, grabbing my arm to 
keep me from harm while she held me and saved me from drowning. But we got back on shore, safe and secure, and they led us all to the infirmary. Three months I spent there, wondering why I was spared. Among all, why was I given mercy? Some live and some die, there's no reasons why. Those spinners weave their webs in mystery. But I'm back on my land, 